Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're sewing up the charming plush gnome pattern. There are so many options in this pattern and it is so super cute. Let's get to it. I'm super excited. <laughs> The really cool thing about Ellie and Mac patterns is all the different options that they offer. So what I always recommend is for you to figure out what option you're making and then lay out all your pieces and cut them out and then um, use a little clip to clip your pieces together so you don't lose them later, especially when you have small little pieces like in this pattern. I am going to be making today the pant option with the strap. I'm using the little feet, I'm using, I'm doing the arms and um, the nose and the body and the hat um, and I'm using the short beard so if, in case you were wondering I'm not doing the boots I think that's one of the biggest things and I am using the beard instead of doing the braids so I'm gonna start with the hands and let's go all right so I've got both of, oops I got my arms and my hands I'm gonna grab my hands and I'm placing the right sides together at that short raw edge of your shirt of your, sorry of your arm and I did I said shirt because I am making it with like the same material the same fabric I'm going to be using for my shirt for my body so it's gonna be like he's wearing a shirt and these are his little hands sticking out of his shirt I think it helps me to picture the whole thing when I think about the uh, process or whatever all right so we're gonna go ahead and sew up there Alright, since this project is so tiny, uh, reducing your seam allowance is the best thing to do um, once you're done cutting. I don't have pinking shears, but that will be your best bet. They're like the ones that do like a zigzag kind of stitch when you, sew, when you cut. I should probably invest in some, but we're just going to keep going and cross our fingers that everything just works out great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my arm, I'm just going to open it up, and I'm going to fold it right sides together and we're going to sew down the edge of the shirt and all the way around well the arm and all the way around and over the thumb now because this is such a tiny little area you may want to uh, make your stitch a little bit smaller as you go around here and around the thumb so it catches really nicely i'm going to want to back stitch here so it doesn't open on me so i'm going to go ahead and do that so shoot up over and around for both as you can see, my stitch is very small here at the round where my thumb is. Slowly, and I kind of lift my foot up and turn with the fabric. Now, once again, I make sure to trim, trim that seam allowance. I'm gonna trim right here up to like the line. So it gives me a, a nice turn. Don't, don't cut the thread though. Make sure that everything's trimmed. Make sure you cut it everywhere so it's not like a piece that's like not caught and then you turn it and it's like, no! Now I am carefully going to be turning around my whole thing and um, it's better if you use a tool, but I'm just going to turn it. I'm gonna show you later uh, a trick that you can use. Um, you can actually, when you're sewing this together, put a little piece of thread or yarn here, like face out, so like the little piece is hanging out, and then that will help you pull it. You'll stitch it on, that'll help you pull it out so that when you turn it right side out, that thread will help you pull it, like a thick piece of thread, but I'm okay here, I think, I hope. I'm using one of my crochet hooks to bump everything out. Keep low hand. Now, if you did your boots and legs, you would be doing now, you would be stuffing your boots, legs, and your arms. I'm just using some um, stuffing that I had. This is some polyfill. Oop, polyfill stuffing. And I'm just shoving it in there and using, usually it comes with like a dowel, but I have no idea where my dowel went. So I'm just using my crochet hook to push it down. It's not working, it's not big enough. Let's use a color pencil, much better. All right, I'm doing my tiny feet now and I've got two sets of them. And now we're just gonna go ahead and grab them right sides together 
and sew around the outer edge. Once again, if we have all that seam allowance, we will trim it. Again, the pinking uh, shears are better than this, but I don't have any, so I'm just doing this. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn him right side out. And we're adding some stuff in there as well. <laughs> These are so cute. All right, so I am sewing um, feet, not legs. So I have my body here. I'm gonna grab my bodies and I'm place them right sides together. If you are sewing legs, you would have the legs attached to this one. And if you're sewing the apron, you would have the apron to this one already, but I'm sewing the pant version. I'm gonna place it right sides together and I'm gonna sew the sides. While I'm there sewing the sides, I'm also going to put a basting stitch around the top. I'm making the stitch very long at the top and I'm just going all the way around to put in that basting, that gathering stitch. It's a basting stitch which I'll use to gather. All right, for the pants, I'm going to grab the pants and place them right sides together. They were already right sides together. What am I doing? And sew the raw edges at the sides, the short edges. So the pants are sewn at the sides. Now on the top, we're going to create that seam allowance and a hem allowance. We're gonna hem it. And we're gonna secure and hem. And once we have that hem, then we're gonna hem the rounded edges. So you can open that seam allowance here and we're gonna fold it down and hem it. I'm folding it down now and then I'm just gonna hem over the whole thing. But you can hem the front first, the front and back first, and then come back and hem the round. I'm just doing it all at once. See, because we're going to hem it all the way around. So I've got my top folded down first. You can go ahead and hem that and then hem the side. But I'm doing it both at the same time. It's kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing right there. I'm doing the same on the other side as well. All right, now we're going to turn it right side out. Your body and your pants. And we're going to fit our pants right in the wrong side of your pants touching the right side of your body and then here at the bottom using our body uh, paper where the markings are for your feet you're gonna mark where your feet belong you're gonna grab your feet and we're gonna baste them on they're just basted onto the front piece Look at how cute those feet are right there. We're gonna turn our bodies wrong side out. We're gonna grab our bodice bottom and we're gonna line up. We're gonna, let's mark those sides. Those lines right here where they show you the sides. We're gonna line those up with the side seams of our body. And matching your body bottom, the bodice bottom, right sides together, we're gonna sew all the way around. Before you even leave your sewing machine, look at it, turn it around and look at it, or look around and make sure that you cut all your edges and you didn't come too close, that you didn't miss a spot. If you did, go ahead and run right over it again. All right, now that that's finished, you can go ahead and use your pinking shears and trim that seam allowance that you had the extra on, especially like on the curves and such. And then you can go ahead and turn it right side out. Look at how cute that's gonna look. Now we're gonna fill up our body with our fill. And then we're gonna grab here where we had that seam, that extra thread here and pull on it. Oop. Right here where we had that thread and we're going to pull on it and close our body. I'm gonna grab my nose and I'm gonna sew a basting stitch all the way around, which is gonna allow me to kind of flip it in and become the nose. All right, I'm gonna grab here where the uh, I left the thread and I'm going to pull on that on both sides. So I'm kind of bringing this nose in, gathering it in. You can see that right there. Pull the other side too. 
And before I close it all the way in, I'm gonna put a little bit of stuff in in there. Make sure you're pulling both sides. If you just pull one side, it's going to come out. The other side will come out and then you won't really have a nose. So then I can wrap it around and close it up. Nose. For my hat, I'm gonna grab the bottom and I'm going to hem that bottom. Once the bottom is hemmed, I'm gonna match my sides, right sides together and so. And then I'm gonna use the pipe cleaner. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna just go ahead and, and clip it now and then I'll go hem and then sew. But for my pipe cleaner now, I have pipe cleaners. I don't know where I put them, but honestly, I was thinking about wanting mine to be a little flimsy. So my gnome hat just kind of flops down instead of standing straight up. So I don't think I'm going to add the pipe cleaner to mine. You can see if you how mine looks and see if you like it and if you want to add the pipe cleaner or not. So if you're going to add the pipe cleaner, once you sew it, you're going to turn it around and you're going to place the pipe cleaner along the back. First, you're going to fold the piece down the top down of the pipe cleaner so that the middle piece doesn't stick up. So you're going to fold it down and you're going to place it along that seam and you can either hot glue it on to the inside, like when it, once it's turned right side, uh, right side out, you can hot glue it to the inside or stitch it on before you turn it. You can stitch it on and you want it to finish about a half an inch before the edge. So you're going to fold it up the pipe cleaner and stitch it all the way on. But again, I think I want the flimsy hat look. So we're going to see what that does. Um, so that's up to you. All right. So here's my hat. I'm going to turn it right side out. Again, if you want your pipe cleaner, you're going to attach it to the seam. You can either sew it onto this little seam right here, or you can hot glue it on. It's up to you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our little hat. We're going to actually try it on on our little gnome and figure out where we want this hat to be so that when we place the nose and everything, it's much easier to do so because you know exactly where you want it, where you want your arms and your nose. See how this kind of lays more down? I don't know. I kind of like that look. It's up to you. I think it's kind of cute to have it flopping down. I'm gonna put a little bit of, we're gonna put a little bit of felt, I mean, um, polyfill in there too, so that it stands up a little bit, but it still flops. But then I'm gonna grab my, like my arms and see like, where do you want your arms? Like how much lower? I might take some of this filling off of the body so it lays a little bit lower because I want my arm to be a little bit lower than that. Um, and so we wanna mark, um, like my nose, where we want that to be. Um, so we want to kind of place it where we are going to want it to be and mark my, with like a little pen or something. All right, here I have my hat and I'm going to put in a little bit of stuffing. Again, if you want it to stay more stiff, then you will put that. But like I said, I want mine to kind of flop a little bit. So I'm not even going to put a ton of, uh, felt in there. Um, I mean, not felt, uh, polyfill in there. So it's just a little bit. So it kind of stands up a little bit, but also I want it to kind of fall down. So I'm just going to mess with it as I, once I put it on there, then I'm going to grab my body and I'm going to place my hat like kind of right on top. So I know exactly where I want to place my hat. So I know where my, like where I want my arms to be, how high or whatever. Remember, I'm still going to add the straps. Some of you that have the apron will have the apron here. So we're going to try to figure out where I want to put, I'm still messing with this hat. I want it to like, you know, kind of flop over. So I might take some of this off, but then I'm going to grab my arm and place it kind of where I want my arms to be. And then I'm going to mark where I want those arms to be with a pin. So then that way it makes it easier to know exactly where I'm going to place those pins. I mean, where I'm going to sew the arms and I want them like right above here right above that side where my arm area is. So they're gonna be there on that side seam, that side seam, but I want the height, how high I want them right there. So I think 
I'm going to place them right about here and make sure my thumb is facing the correct way. And then I'm going to stitch them on. I'm going to hand stitch them on. I'm just going to do it real quickly, but we do have a tutorial and hand stitching if you want to check that out. Make sure they're positioned exactly where you want them before you sew them on. I think that's going to be cute. There are quite a few ways that we can um, hand stitch. This is just, I'm just going to do a regular hand stitching job here to get this um, sleeve onto my gnome. Um, if you are doing any kind of stitching, if you don't want to use your sewing machine because you got fluff or anything like that, hand stitching is such a great way to get that job done. Alright, if you're making straps, we're going to fold two raw edges in towards the middle and then we're going to top stitch them down to create my little straps. Folded them in quarter inch. And you can start at the bottom. I don't know why I started the other one at the middle, but you start at the bottom and go all the way around. All right, we're gonna grab our strap and we're gonna match that raw edge to the inside of our pants. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the back and here at the back, we're going to cross them and also put them in the back of the pant and we're gonna sew them on. You can hand stitch them on, you can hand, hot glue them, it's up to you. I'm gonna hand stitch them and if you need help, we do have a little video showing exactly how to hand stitch. So go check that out. All right, once you sew that on too, you can go ahead and attach your buttons. You can hot glue or sew them on as well. This is gonna be so cute. Then we're going to, once we do that, we're going to do our beard. And I have, I don't have um, my fur. I lost it, so I'm using this, uh, well, it's full fur, but I, I don't know where I put it, so we're just gonna use this full fur that kind of matches. I think it's gonna be cute. This will be a cute little fur fur numb. Um, and so we're gonna grab our beard pattern. We're gonna brush our fur down and we're gonna mark it on the outer, on the back of it. Um, if you're using the fur, you wanna move the fur towards the inside so you're not cutting along the edges and make it you know, kind of weird. So you want to make sure that you brush that fur first. Since this is not really, this is just like the short, uh, like faux fur, it's not that big of a deal, then this will be not too bad, but you want to cut it from the back. Mark it from the back. Ugh, gonna make a mess. I want to warn you now. And then you're going to either hot glue it or uh, sew it on to your bodice. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be really cute. Then we will hand stitch that nose or hot glue the nose, and then we will attach the hat. All right, so here is our gnome finished. I'm gonna go uh, stitch it all up. I think I may want to do a different color button, so I think I might do like blue or dark buttons, but he is so cute. I love it. What do you think about the hat? Do you think we should make it straight up? Or do you think, do you like it that it hangs down? What What is your preference? I kind of like it hanging down. I may have to like, maybe I will put a pipe cleaner in there because a pipe cleaner, you can control it and make it bend down. And then you'll actually bend down because the pipe cleaner is making it bend down. That's a great idea. All right, so I am finished. I'm going to go and uh, finish top stitching everything and then I'll show you the final results. If you want a tutorial on how to hand stitch all this together, um, check out our little hand stitching tutorial. Um, if not, if you hot glue it, then you're done.
All right, friends, we are done with our gnome. How cute did this turn out? I think it's adorable. This is a perfect um, like little gift or a perfect thing to put on your to decorate your mantle or put around the house. You can make them like really, really cute. There's all kinds of different options on this pattern. So make sure you check out all the options and make all the different options. I think these are our adorable. If you have any questions about how I did my hand stitching, I do have a video on hand stitching. So go ahead and check that out. I used that video um, and, and hand stitched hand stitched this whole uh, little ensemble together. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you go grab it and sew it up with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!